The Torah doesn't really have much to say, but not on uh, tobacco or marijuana. It doesn't really have anything to comment on it. And it is generally a fact that those things were probably smoked during biblical times. So they were probably around and being used. Um, so it possibly should if it was an issue. So generally, because it's silent and there's no laws forbidding smoking, generally you can smoke under Torah law. Uh, alcohol was indeed around, and uh, there is commentary on alcohol. Generally the message of a Torah Tanakh is um, you sort of avoid drunkenness. If someone's given over to misery in a miserable situation, they can drown their sorrows in alcohol, according to the Proverbs, but... Um, now, it's not for kings, O Lemuel, to get involved with intoxicants. Now, chemically manufactured drugs weren't around in biblical times. So, um, to be blunt, to use coarse language, they're a mind fuck. You should be cautious about those. One hit of an ecstasy tablet can be lights out. Just one hit can be lights out. Death. So, um, they weren't around because we didn't have chemical processing labs in biblical times. So there's no judgment from the Bible on the issue. But, uh, it doesn't take a genius to work out that that's probably not in your best interest, that sort of level of drug use. Probably not for the best. Marijuana was around in biblical times. So, um, it's not commented on. Probably okay to varying degrees. I would advise to research something like the Wikipedia article on marijuana and to be informed. So, um, yeah. Comment on addictive substances, volume one. 